Hi everyone, hope you're having a great weekend. Today we're discussing a very important topic and that's how to learn things most effectively. And this is a technique that I use and I've used to very good effect. And so I recommend it to you all. It's not an original method, it's from this guy, from Richard Feynman. If you don't know him, he's a Nobel Prize winner in physics, possibly one of the greatest physicists of all time. This is one of his books. It's a really good book, very funny, recommend you read it. His technique is as follows and it has teaching at its center. Let me first go through the technique and then I'll tell you why it works and why I recommend it to you. The technique is as follows. First step, pick the topic you want to learn about. It can be anything, it doesn't have to be science, it can be anything. Second, you write down everything you know about that topic. Try and summarize it into themes, into fundamental principles. Third step, you teach someone. Teach someone who has never done the topic before, who is very unfamiliar with the topic and encourage them to ask questions. When they ask questions or when you explain stuff, you'll find there are gaps in your knowledge or there are questions you cannot answer, or indeed you'll find that you haven't actually got to the very fundamental principles of the topic. There are things you don't understand or can't explain. You take those questions and those misunderstandings away and you do another round of research. You reorganize your notes. You, you almost start from zero. You try and boil it down further and further to fundamentals. Then you go back and try and teach someone again. And you keep this iterative process until you've got to a point where you can answer all the questions and have full confidence in your understanding of the basic principles. That's the Feynman method of learning. Now, why does it work? It works because A, it's repetitive, right? So you're iterating your knowledge, but you're not iterating it in a stale way. You're always adding to it. You're always molding it. You're always crafting it. A lot of people, when they want to memorize stuff or learn stuff, they just read the same content again and again and again. That's no good. You need your brain to be actively involved. So it's an active refining method. So that the activity and the act of refining are both important parts of the learning process. The second reason it's extremely effective is because if you can't teach someone something, you don't truly understand it. You will find that passively ingesting information and reciting facts is a whole lot easier than explaining something to somebody else. And that teaching element really challenges you to fully understand the topic. The third and most important is his requirement that you boil things down to fundamental principles. And that's what many of us don't do. We just learn a bunch of disconnected facts and call that knowledge. It isn't. You need to understand the fundamental principles of how things work. So an example, let's suppose I want to do something on gravity. I could say the apple fell from the tree and hit Newton's head because of the force of gravity. Well, the person I'm teaching it to, you say, okay, well, what is gravity then? Like, what actually is it? And I could say something like, oh, it's a force that massive objects exert on other massive objects and say, well, why? Why does it exert that force? And I'll say, oh, well, it's something to do with curvature of space-time. And say, what's curvature of space-time? And then I might scratch my head. Well, I don't know how to explain that without using complicated maths. So I have to go back and really understand what causes curvature of space-time, what causes gravity. Or I could be teaching them, say, about Buddhism. And they say, what's the four core tenets of Buddhism? Well, it's the four noble truths. And then someone could say, oh, well, where do they come from? And then, oh, okay, well, I scratch my head, well, where did they come from? Well, then I have to go back and understand ancient Indian culture and so on and so forth. So you see how the questions make you think more deeply about the topics that you're teaching and lets you engage with those topics. And that's the true beauty of the Feynman method.